Venice was built in the center of a lagoon by fishing folk from the adjacent mainland that is today's Veneto region. The lagoon islands became the refuge from multiple barbarian invasions between the 2nd and 6th centuries. Venice is shaped like a whale, with the tail in the east and the head in the west. The layout of the city was meticulously planned to reflect fundamental metaphysical principles, especially the convergence of opposing yet interdependent forces. The city is divided into six districts, grouped into the north side, central core and south side. The bright south side of Venice was chosen to provide a monumental setting for the seats of spiritual and temporal power, namely the Basilica and the Doge's Palace, respectively. Conversely, the dark north side became linked with the deeper and more obscure aspects of life and death. The commercial and cultural districts were sandwiched in between. The Royal Canal is located as a sort of blowhole at the top of the whale's head. It is Venice's northern gate and was built to provide a point of controlled access and departure for merchants and state officials sailing between the island city and its mainland province. The northernmost area of Venice was built around this canal and was named after it. About two kilometers east of the city's virtual blowhole was built a fortified shipyard called the Arsenal, analogous to the whale's bowels. Most surrounding buildings also had turrets and battlements, so this came to be called the Castle District. The north side of Venice used to house a slaughterhouse, an important abbey, the main city hospital and a large churchyard, not to mention a few monasteries. The hospital has remained in operation to this day, while the slaughterhouse was turned into a university campus, and the churchyard was moved to a separate island about 400 meters north of the hospital. The Venetian language is a Romance language, with a few German and Balkan loanwords. However, it shares most similarities with Spanish and French, due to the troubadours, who were active from the 12th to the 14th centuries between Vigo and Venice. Troubadours traveled across central Spain, southern France and northern Italy and stopped over in Venice before heading back west. The dark north side of Venice was home to a small Muslim enclave known as the Moorish Quarter and a conspicuous Orthodox Christian community made up of Slovenes, Croats, Albanians and Greeks, which revolved around the worship of Saint George, the Dragon Slayer. In the Middle Ages, Venetian Jews formed the city's most influential ethnic minority. The Venetian government consigned them to a gated community called Ghetto, where they built five synagogues. Two traditional Venetian dishes have ancient Jewish origins, namely chopped liver with onions and escabeche of sardines, which are both kosher recipes. Several buildings in the dark north side of Venice were associated with the Rosicrucians and other secret societies, and featured arcane symbols such as black madonnas and allegorical bas-reliefs related to the cult of Kronos and Rhea. Two very important esoteric texts were conceived in this part of Venice in the 15th century. Francesco Zorzi authored The World's Harmony and Francesco Colonna penned The Dream of Polyphilus. In the early 17th century, a major conflict arose between Venice and the papacy. Paolo Sarpi dared to deny the Pope's authority in Venice. The Borghese family, which the Pope belonged to, ordered Sarpi's murder, but all attempts failed and the culprits were arrested. The Great Council of Venice was strongly opposed to the papal nobility, who controlled most of Italy at the time. A number of Venetian historic figures were Freemasons, including 
playwrights Carlo Gozzi and Carlo Goldoni, as well as polymaths Francesco Grisolini, Francesco Algarotti, and Giacomo Casanova. Several members of the dark Venetian nobility were buried in sarcophagi kept in the Jesuit church as well as in the cathedral of Saints John and Paul, whereas the equestrian statue of the feared warlord Bartolomeo Coleoni stands in the cathedral square. The famous Magdalene temple bears the motto Wisdom has built herself a home, surmounted by the all-seeing eye which represents the potentiality of body, speech, and mind. Another important landmark is St. Jeremy's Church, which houses the mummy of St. Lucy with an iron mask welded onto her face. The castle district was the home neighborhood of Marco Polo, who explored Asia, John Cabot, who sailed to North America, and Antonio Vivaldi, the most celebrated musician in Venice. <laughs>